Welcome back. Here we are. We're at Milton Keynes, the home of the old lawnmower club. So we have our annual general meeting, 2023. We are here at the Milton Keynes Rural Life Museum. So today, a lovely day. We've got lots of mowers to see, lots of people here. We've had an auction and of course, the museum itself. So a great day ahead. We're gonna go and talk to some members, have a look at some great mowers. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy this video. I certainly am. Nice little display of mowers here. So, can you tell us about them? Yeah, of course. Um, so we've got a um, few cylinder mowers here. Got a 1981 Quad Cast Panther 30DL um, that I was fortunate enough to get two years ago, brand new. That is in the box. That's new, isn't it? Brand new, never used. Look at that. How about that? Look, it's still sharp. Yeah, still underneath. Look at that. That was a lucky find, wasn't it? Yeah. Facebook Marketplace, poorly advertised. Got there and I thought I'd won the lottery. God. <laughs> and look at the box as well. Come and come and have a look. Let's just get the, the camera lady. Look at that. It's, it's even got its... its, it's, it's and kind of... it's sold by Woolworth sticker. How about that? Woolworths. There we go. So, so a little gem. And we're going to move on a little. I, like, I, haven't, I haven't seen one of these for a while. So we've got a cold cast Concord. So yeah. is that you? No, um, I mean, I, when I grew up cutting grass for old ladies, they all had quad cast Concords, um, and I wanted to find a really nice one. Found this on eBay last, uh, well, two years ago, um, and until two years ago, it had been brand new. Had it? But the lady had used it for cutting her grass for a little Thank while, you. so, but again, it's still in lovely condition. So Do you know, I've, I've cleaned it all up. Yeah. Um, and I've actually got one of the last like late 90s ones and the quality in this one it's different much heavier yeah. you can tell it's a much better yeah. machine as, to the ones what they you know when they ran them out yeah. in the 90s i so. think that is going to be a future collector's piece isn't yeah. it because they made so many of them but i think the trouble is they were easy to throw away yeah. weren't they? well they were the best selling mower in britain yeah yeah, they, they, um, God knows well, you how had many that they slogan, sold. Didn't you? A yeah. lot less bother than a hover. hover. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, so well, let's move on. So what do we got? We've got a lovely web here. So yeah. this is a web which? Yep. Yeah. So I was given that um, uh, by a friend in a car club. Uh, his neighbour had had it from brand new, but she was in her 80s and was finding it too much work pushing it along. Uh, so he thought it would be a good home with me and I actually use this to cut my grass twice a week. Looks Be in good mix. Beautifully engineered mower. Is it eight blades on that eight one? Eight bladed cylinder. Look at this. I mean it cuts the grass like a bowling green and literally it just glides along. Yeah. And you've, so, got, you've got this lovely split yeah. roller on the back. Which, so it turns on the grass yeah. beautifully. It's lovely. It's really, really nice mower. A pleasure. So I, I love using this. Yeah. And so. then we're going to, is, is this another new one? Look, a, a hater no, carrier. A, yeah. So obviously Hater famous for their Harrier Roller, mowers, yeah. their roller mower, but this was their electric version. Yeah. So it's probably the best electric rotary mower you could buy at the time. Yes. They were about £250 brand new, yeah. which when you compare that to sort of the average electric rotary mower at the time, about yeah. 60, 70 quid. Yeah. They're a real quality machine. But they're worth it, aren't they? Yeah. And I mean, they're still, the, the when these were launched, they were the Hater Hobby Electric. Yes. And there's still ones of those going, yeah. you know, sort of 30, 40 year old yes. electric mowers. Yeah. Um, but you can see their quality, yeah, can't you? That's, I mean, and that's... Hater have just bought out their latest battery mower, the Hawk, that's completely yeah. plastic. Yes. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this is a solid, this is a, this you is know, a real solid deal, proper isn't it? deck uh, Hater. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. really nice quality yeah. electric mower. Now I go along with that. I've still got a customer that's got one of those. Yeah. And every single year, I just sharpen the blade or replace yeah. it, clean it. It gets its pat test and. Away, it goes. Out, away yeah. it goes again. So there you go, quality. And now we're going to go on to a, a, a flymo here. Again, look at that. So, you better tell, yeah, tell. so this was a fa another Facebook marketplace find. So it's like a mid eighties uh, Flymo DLE, 10 quid. Yes. Um, yeah. And it's really nice. Yes. Uh, I always hated Flymos and then I started cutting grass for a customer that had got one. I was like, it actually cuts they it do. really they nice. Have, they have a use. Yeah, Banks so um, and, yes. I've, I found this because obviously the older ones, much more quality yeah. than, than the new ones you can yeah. buy. Yes. Um, so it's, yeah, another nice, yeah, machine, nice, but, nice you know, find. Again, it's 40 years old. Getting rare, isn't yeah. it? I think there was a lot thrown away. There yeah, was a lot again. made, but there's a lot yeah. thrown away, wasn't there? So, um, 
Yeah, a good I'm find. I'm preserving a little bit of the 70s and 80s in my collection. It, so. it is. No, it's good because, as I say, a lot of this stuff was thrown away, so it will become rare, won't and it? And again, it's always it's what you relate to. So you I, do. I grew up cutting grass with yeah. this type of mower. Yeah, yeah. So these are old mowers. What, yeah, that's what I relate to, and that's what I started collecting. Yeah. So. No, it's great, isn't it? No, yeah. thank you very much. That's all right. Thank Pleasure. You. See you soon. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. So what we got here is a really nice selection of early side wheel mowers. These are owned by William and Christopher Proudfoot um, and they are proper antiques. So I'm very envious. Uh, there's lots here I would like, but no doubt William can probably... What would you say is, yeah, probably the rarest, well, the rarest one, if or rarest of what you have? Well, it's very difficult, very difficult to say. I mean, uh, quite a few of them are, uh, are effectively um, sort of, you know, there aren't any others, are, aren't any others around now, and that, that's probably just because hardly any of them were actually made in exactly that pattern in the first place. Yeah. Um, they may have only been sold by whoever sold them for a year. They're all all catalogue mowers. So this yeah. one from 1903, the Jewel, um, you know made for um, made, made prob could probably made for years and years and sold with, with umpteen different names on it by umpteen different shops yeah um, uh, probably not even just in this country but probably in America would, as well. would this one have had a, a bag or a box um, it probably would have had a box because it's got these funny little lugs on the ah, front here yeah. which wouldn't be for any other purpose no um, that's usually a sign that they had some sort of a box on the front. And a bit, uh, bit it has like, got slots in there, slots in ah, there as well for a delivery place. And do you think a bit like some of them, it would have been an extra, so you'd have had to oh, yeah, put, I'm sure. put your hand in your pocket oh, yes. for, yeah, that for, would be... for, for a thrower plate and a box? Oh, absolutely, that would have been an extra, yes, yes. Yeah, so, they, they, they always and not, charged extra no, for those no, on side wheelers, yeah. Oh, any excuse, isn't any it, really? Excuse, any yeah. excuse. Yes. But, but I guess, you know, as side wheels are, they're more suitable for longer grass, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. They? That's why, why I suppose they were optional. They really. were. Yes. Um, yes. So this, this, one, this one has got a box. That's a, a Gordon Deluxe made by Suffolk in the 30s. 30s, yeah. Um, and um, that's got, a, got an original box. The, the thrower plate isn't original. No, um, that's the thrower plate. And that's one that, um, well... Yeah, yeah. You, so, so, somebody forked out for a box somebody and throw a plate. And, and look, it's got yeah. a nice and badge it on there. It comes with a nice badge, that one. Yes, it's very unusual that they um, made, made badge, but it was the, the top of the range um, side wheel that, um, that they made. So um, That's and, nice, isn't it? Yes, and that's, yeah, so that's, and that's sold by, um, by Timothy White under this Gordon name, which they used for... Yeah, I think it was, very, it was very popular, this catalogue mower thing, wasn't it? So there, there seemed to be sort of a lot of different yeah. catalogue mowers. So the, 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 the basic difference is that all these, all these here um, are um, American made or foreign made. Um, yeah, they're all American made, actually, they're also made in the USA on them. They all come from different shops. So this one on the end um, was sold by uh, Lloyds and Sons Limited, uh, 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 some sort of a store or dealer in, um, in Woolwich and Erith in South East London. Um, this one just says Viking on it, so there would be yep. some shop that used Viking as a yes. trade name for all this stuff, which yep. is Turtle of Croydon, um, Bean Co. Yep. Um, again, another... Baxendale another and Company. Baxendale and, and Company, company. Yes, I think I've heard in, in that Ma one, Manchester. yeah. Um, uh, Millard's American Champion. This again has got a, a lovely, sort of badge isn't it? on it. That's lovely, um, I'm envious. And it's a sort of... And that looks like the original handle. Yeah, is that's it? the handle, yes, oh, with the writing, with, the, with all the writing down it as well. Yeah. Um, see these, these two have got virtually well, exactly the same wooden top pieces. Yeah, they're same, nice, aren't the they? the same manufacturer. Um, Viking made in USA and, and um, it was made in USA there. Mm. I think what always fascinates a lot of people is why they made such small ones, don't they? And I, I'm never quite sure what's the smallest side wheel size would it be a six or oh, yeah, they yeah. six yeah. it was it was six they yeah. didn't go any lower than six so i don't think six, six was yeah. about the lowest i don't know if these were made in six six inch i know and obviously things like anglo paris is yes yeah, so whether, were, whether, they, whether these things were actually sold below eight I inches don't I don't, think probably not many of these did go below eight no no yeah. um but um they look like they're all going to cut grass as well, so well, no, no doubt we, well, we might do... One or two of them might have been, yes. One or yes two. Some, of them, <laughs> some of them don't so well, but yes. Um, I haven't had time to set them all up. Oh, well, so that, that's, that's it, but they all look good. Yeah. And then yeah. that, some of the ones up the other end here are... Um, Let's have a look. Uh, and there are some more of these further along, belonging to other people as well. Yes. Are made by, uh, are, uh, are made by a variety of manufacturers and sold by um, Gamages. Ah, yeah, Gamages, um, they're uh, catalogue people, aren't they? Well, they're, they're a store. Uh, store, store in Hope. Yeah, yeah. I can store, remember them. Store yeah. in London. And um, 
know, this is this is um, along with its its identical twin up there, um, the one of the earliest known quadcasts. It's going to say not that sold, looks, looks like a not sold, It's actually a quadcast model B, um, possibly never sold under quadcast's own name. Have a look at um, that. But this is um, this is this is uh, sold under the Gamages. Gamages. And no doubt you paid a Gamages price. Yeah. <laughs> That was a very long time ago, so... <laughs> yes, that's right. I think right. I paid about a fiver for that one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was a bargain. Like a gamages that was, that, was a, that was a bargain. Um, so is, is that a... a, that's, a, so that's, that's, a that's a Suffolk. That's, Suffolk. that's just post-war. Yep. And it's got these very distinctive pressed steel bow arms. Oh, yeah. Um, whether that actually saved any... I mean, it probably doesn't even use less steel, and it means you've got to have a, a, yeah. a, a press to make them on. So, it seems um, like all work to it's, me. Yeah, I, I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's a good way of saving money or saving cost, no, being cost no. down, certainly. Somebody's bright idea. And this is a, this is a, a Suffolk with a, with a sort of That's unusual, isn't handle. it? They, they, yep. You don't often see sort of wooden tea this handles on, on, not often, on a roller mower. So that's a, that's a, a Suffolk from between the, um, from between the wars. Yeah. Um, but only made in the 10 inch size. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's odd, isn't um, it? And that's just, this is the, the first gamage. It's the only, the only one of the side wheelers that doesn't have a number on it, presumably okay. because it's number one. Um, and that's that's because it's before the First World War. Is uh, is American made? Oh. Um, all these all these cheap mowers, like the ones we were looking at the other end, they all they're all made in, made in American, shipped over here. And the, um, the changes in import taxes um, during after the First World War, then um, then that wasn't economically viable. So no. that's where um, companies like Suffolk and, and then they jumped on the bandwagon and, and made them here instead. And why not? Yeah. That makes sense, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But that looks a nice quality mower, doesn't it? It is, yes, and it's got an extraordinary system of um, uh, extraordinary uh, pinion and pull system inside, which um, which is completely different from anything else I've ever seen, and is really? incredibly effective and much less susceptible to wear. Is it than, uh, yeah. than any of the ones that the main manufacturers used? Yeah, and I guess it still drives nicely as it does now. I guess if grass was a, li a little bit shorter, little bit shorter, it probably. Yes. Oh, look at that! that. Yes, it does. Cuts like a dream. It never, it, ne it, 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 it never, it never slips. It's um, it, 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 you don't get slipping pinions in no. those at all. It, it's, it's an extraordinary design. I don't, I don't know why, um, why other manufacturers didn't catch on to it. Would, would it have been cost, years. cost? Do you think? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. It's not. It's not that costly to make. But no. Um, good yeah. idea though. It was. It was a good idea. Yeah. 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 No, that's great. Yeah. Well, that's great. Thanks very much. Not and at all. Um, yeah, we're going to have a look at some more mowers. So what we got here, this is a real beauty. Uh, this is a, would you say it's a, a, a pony or horse mower set? This is a mower. It is a pony mower, but it's it's probably about as big as pony mowers got before they became horse mowers. Yes. Yeah. It's quite a chunky thing, isn't it? It is really, yeah. yeah. What, what, what size cut is this? It's, this is a 30 inch cut, which is, they made them in 26 and 30, I think. But yeah. they did make donkey mowers for small, which is 24. So for those that have never seen anything as glorious as this, so I'm guessing the head gardener would have the privilege of standing behind it. I, I suppose and, so, yeah. And obviously your, your best pony, your best yeah. pony yeah, yeah. pulling it at the front. And you better tell us a bit about this because people are going to be wondering what, what all this is. Well, this is what people ask. So you don't want to stand behind the horse, mate. Really unhelpful. Did you see the and, um, so they've come up with this excellent device to, you know, expel the grass from the um, from the collecting box. And you stand at your handles and you sort of lead your horse up to the side. Come and have a look, uh, camera lady, because Seb's going to give us a demonstration. So you, you watch get, what happens. You sidle up to the side of the lawn and you 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 say woe to your horse, and you wind this handle round, and uh, all the grass is is expelled from the side. Right. Isn't that good? No electrics or nothing. And either side, can't you? Exactly, yes. So you can do either side. That's amazing, isn't it? You end up with piles of grass on the edge of your lawn. Your so lawn, yeah. I suppose but so you spend your help around to, to pick up or You something. do. When you can afford something like this, oh, yes. you've, 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 got, you've got many gardeners. Yes. Many gardeners. And um, looks like Seb has got the boots. So wow. you, you better tell us about those because that's exciting. So obviously if you've got your big cricket pitch or you've got your big house or whatever it might be, you know, you don't want any hoof prints, any horseshoes in your lawn. So you have these special leather boots you put on your horse, persuade your horse very nicely to wear them, it's like sort of slippers for the lawn, and, um, uh, and and your horse doesn't leave any imprints. 
The only thing is, I've only so far managed to find three of them, which is... I was um, going to say, you're one short, or, or your horse or pony's three-legged. Well, we have, um, yes, the, the, we've actually let the three-legged pony sort of go off for a rest at the moment, but, um, <laughs> but normally he would be here. So in other words, if any viewers see a spare horseshoe, yes. Seb's looking for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got the three of them. And, and, uh, and when we're down here, have a look at this, because this is lovely. I love always. These are gear-driven. Um, so you've got one one side, one the other, and is that, that springs on there, is it, yes. Seb? So you'll see if you push the handles, you know, for the, for the, for the user, when you go over bumps, it just cushions the handles a bit. For that's, a, that's amazing, isn't yeah, it? They, yeah. they think of everything, don't they? They did, really, yes. Yeah. You'll see if... Um, We've got a little bit of grass in there, look, but um, it does all uh, it does all turn. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? And um, I haven't actually sharpened this one up yet, no. so, but um, a little bit of sharpening and it would it would work. It would cut. Was this this is one you've restored, is it, Seb? It is, yes. Well, I, I got this all derelict and seized, and um, and the, this was missing and this was missing as well. And, oh. Did um, you did you fabricate that? Or, yeah, so or did I, you? I Amazing. fabricated a new sprocket for wow. it. And I had I had two links of the original chain, so I knew what pitch it should be. Yeah. And by luck, there was an agricultural dealer having a reduction sale, and they started up about the time this was made, and they had some very old stock of chain. God. Which was which was an amazing That's amazing piece pure of luck. Fluke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's identical to the original ones on it. God, I mean that looks the part, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? It just really finishes it off, and doesn't so, it? Um, I mean, what's the chances of getting that? It's it's nearly yeah. I was none at all, isn't it? I was. I was about to start making it link by link, and that would have been very difficult. Painful, and, um, painful, painful. Yeah, painful. and so then from the pitch, and I knew from photos how many teeth the sprocket should have, and yeah. roughly what it should look like. Yeah, and that's welded out of about ten different pieces of steel. Oh. And I made a, a wooden template in, wow. in plywood just to get it working initially, and then I sort of traced the template out and Goodness calculated me. all the pictures and the teeth shape. And um, well, you've got it right. It works. It, it works. <laughs> it must be okay. Yeah. And, um, no, that's amazing. I think people don't always... You've got to be enthusiastic, haven't you? Because people don't realise the time that some of these things take. But no. when you finished it, the, the finished result is... It is. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. To see something oh, like this. Um, I'm pleased with it. It is. And, and uh, yeah, one of the other things about a lot of the ransoms, you've got this split cutting cylinder here. And I think they said it was to direct the grass it was. evenly, yes. wasn't it? So you can see it looks like they're smashed to bits, but they're not. They're meant yes. to be like that. And the idea is it, it sort of funneled the grass into the box evenly. Yes. So this that was... Got a, it's got a clutch here to engage. Oh, yep. Which obviously the smaller mowers didn't have. No. And um, you roll around it out and then just knock your clutch in. And, and then the blades would go. And, yeah. Um, and you'll also see what we've got here today. Let's which have is, a look. Um, this is essentially the biggest one they made yes. of this design. Yes. Um, well, this one is the have smallest one they made. Oh, look at this. This, <laughs> this, this is a beauty, isn't it? And, so tell um, us about it, Seb. This is the 8-inch patent gear. Yeah. Uh, compared to the 30 So again, made by there. Ransoms. And um, the reason I brought these two together, firstly, it's, you know, it's the smallest and the largest. Um, but both of these are about 1911. Uh, and both of them I found derelict. Um, in all seas, and both of them have been restored. This one I finished, I started this eight years ago. Wow. Uh, and I finished it on Friday. And, um, so you've got an eight inch cut that took you eight, eight years to, to repair. That is it. And it's, Look at that. Isn't, and it it's cuts. Not, it's, a, it's a little longer than this. It is. It's, um, it's not roller mower territory, really, is it? But it's, I have sharpened it up. It's a yes. It to work sort of broadly as intended, it, really. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, this is this is what I like about all this stuff. Look, you've got these lovely bronze bushes here on the cylinder, and again, they've even they've even gone to the extent of a split cylinder. Imagine what that costs, though. I mean, right. it's all extra work, isn't it? Yeah. And am I right in saying this has got a split roller as well? Or yes, not? and it's it has. So you've got two separate ratchets in here. Yeah. And um, so it does scope, see they... and it makes it a bit easier to turn. Yeah. So you can go around corners. Yeah. I mean, you've got some... height adjusters here. Beautiful, aren't they? all the different segments so you you loosen and, and drop the roller depending on whether you want to higher or lower it and i mean it, it's attended with all this old stuff this is what i like about it even the grass box you look at that it, it's it's lovely isn't it yes yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 pure quality and well thought out and um beautiful so most of the box is metal and then the sides are wooden you can't see it but the sides are wooden they are and ransoms, they seem to, I don't think it was just ransoms, it was red inside, didn't it? They, yes. they painted, I think a lot of them tended to do that, didn't they? Whether it was to do with the cut, I don't know, but it's, uh, it seems to be. 
uh, what they do, but no, that's lovely. Again, and you said it was what 1911? Uh, both of these about 1911, uh, approximately. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, so I've been. Okay. This is the original box for this one. Is it? Um, and I was able to save the original wood, but wow. uh, it was also it was split right through, and yeah. so I had to uh, glue it and then use very long screws to um, to reassemble it. Yeah. And then without the, the metal to support it, the wood all warped, and I had mm. to press it back to shape. God. And um, it took a long time, and then but I had traces, so I knew that you know, I knew what the colour scheme should be and whatnot. Yeah. And, there was um, a lot of work there. I can see that. It's, it's, yeah, it has been a fair amount of work, this one. Yes, yes. But it's a real beauty, isn't it? It's, um, I'm just glad it's done and back in one piece. Yeah, though. yeah. I think one of the other things I like, I'll probably you find, but when you look at like the handle grips on these old mowers, um, they're wood, but they just fit your hand so yes, well, don't they? they do. You they hold do. it and it just, you know, it's really nice, isn't it? And it beats this plastic and everything that we get these days. Um, so they really did think about stuff like this and you can see why this sort of thing has lasted like it has it's oh, yeah. it's 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 a, it's a real treat isn't it really and again it's a little mower isn't it yes I, ca I can't remember on these did they do a six inch version of that or no. not that eight was and i think i would imagine it'd be because you know the split cutting cylinder wouldn't necessarily work in no, six inch no um and of course ransom did the anglo paris which was a six inch yes so uh yeah but they did in these they did eight ten 12, 14, 16, 18? I think you're right, I think I've seen an 18. They definitely yeah. did a 20. Yes. And I'm pretty sure a 22. What point did they call them a donkey or horse mower? It would have probably been, I'm guessing, 20 onwards or something, or 22, something like that. The ones that. around then. Uh, certainly when the 1820 ish, they went to two chains. Yes. Um, or, well, the chain ones. Yeah. And um, Certainly by 24 they were calling it either a donkey or a pony. Yes. The 24s were the smallest ones that had the chain system on. Yes. Um, but I always thought it was odd really that, you know, it's a lot of extra engineering to make an 8, 10, 12 and it 14. And, and how different really are they? And yes, yes. It, does, it does, does make you wonder. But I think in some cases, depending on the size of it, a lot of the time the handlebars and the, the side frames yes. were the same, weren't they? Until they got to a certain size. Could, yes, it could all it could all be stretched out. So it's quite good engineering, isn't it? I suppose. Well, it's yeah. Like longer, longer bars in longer axle roller and cylinder. So I suppose that makes sense to a degree, doesn't sure. it? Sure. Sure. But no, there you go. Well, lovely mowers. Thanks, Seb. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go and have a look at the old lawnmower club shop. There's some real goodies to to buy here. So let's go and have a look. So there's, there's all sorts here. You can buy all these different transfers for your mowers. Ransoms, Bonfires, Royal Enfield, JP, Suffolk. No, no, no. Again, there's more here as well. Um, the Lovely The club shop also sells clothing. So you can get clothing, you can get cats, and again, have a look here. You can buy cups, key rings, pens, flasks, tape measures. Um, the list is endless. Um, so obviously, if you need anything and you're a member, you can you can get something from the club shop. Lots and lots of goodies. So right, let's move on, and then we'll uh, we're going to have a look at some more mowers. Yeah. Oh, right, what have we got here? This is a real beauty. So we've got an Atco made by the lawnmower people. This is an Atco Junior Safety First. This is a training vehicle. And obviously petrol. So camera lady, come and have a look. So we've got the Villiers two-stroke in it. Petrol engine in the back. And some of it, you can see, obviously, the Atco side of it. Beautifully restored. And I've been told made in 1939. Two seats. I'm guessing you've got the forward and reverse there. Let's have a look in there. We've got the pedals in there as well. What a lovely thing. Fully restored. And I believe it goes. It does go. It does go. I'm envious. I, th I think any 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 child 
would be love to have a go in that. Lovely, isn't it? How fast do you think this goes? Really? 10 miles an hour? Go on. That's fast enough, isn't it? There we are. So I'm, I'm going to do some cheating here and I'm going to read off, off, off here So uh, because I really don't know a lot about it, but it's lovely. So in 1935, over 8,000 people were killed in road accidents in this country. So the government began to look in improving road safety. And by 1939, they decided to put driving lessons onto the school curriculum. The lawnmower company, as we said before, ATCO, knew of this and embarked on the production of these miniature cars to supply to schools and colleges, also private buyers. The first batch, 250, were produced, some 200 which were sold, so that's pretty good. Unfortunately, just over the Second World War started, plans fell through. After the war, further discussions were held, but nothing came. The reason being a lot more of the production population could already drive and everyone had a lot more road sense. Shame they don't today. So there you have it. What a little beauty. It's lovely, isn't it? Something you don't see very often and most people would never associate something with the Atco Mower Company. Atco standard. So two strokes on it, 150cc to handle start and being beautifully restored. Um, I guess uh, I guess it was a full restoration. Yeah. Top to bottom and have a look in here.
have a look a line of these beautiful mowers so petrol mowers side wheel mowers the end the list is endless no shortage of mowers there we go that's a fairly unusual one royal enfield known for making motorbikes their mowers are a little bit un unusual two-stroke mower there made by the royal enfield co lovely so, there we go. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was the 2023 Old Lawn Mower Club Rally. I've had a great day. Uh, I think everybody else has this with cracking mowers. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.